Do you feel like the stars have to align and everything has to come together for you to perform your best? Hi, I'm Dr. Patrick Cohn. I'm continuing my series on the top 10 confidence killers for athletes. Today, I'm gonna to talk about athletes that tend to question their preparation before they go into competition and thus have less confidence. You're watching Sessions with Doc. So a lot of athletes, especially perfectionistic athletes or athletes that feel like everything has to come together for them to perform well. In other words, they have to have great practices, they have to be getting great comments from others, they have to feel great, getting the right amount of sleep, getting the right nutrition, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Those are the athletes that tend to struggle when they go from practice to competition because they start to question is my preparation good enough? Did I do the things that I need to do? Am I performing good enough in my practice where I can take it to competition? It's a little bit like we talked about last time in the last video on self-doubt, but this is specific to doubting your preparation. So athletes that tend to doubt their preparation worry that things aren't gonna go according to plan, that they're not gonna be able to perform like they execute in practice because maybe something was off, their shot or their shot pattern or their batting cage, whatever it was, wasn't on target for them and then they start to question that. So what's the solution here for questioning your preparation? First of all, as my mentor Ken Revisa told me, and I always remember this, are you that crappy that you can't perform with your B game, right? So Ken and I used to always talk about, and this is back in the mid to late 80s when I went to Cal State Fullerton, do you need to have a peak performance every time? Do you need to be in the zone every time? No, you have to be able to adjust. So great performance is about going out there and not being in the zone all the time. It's about being able to adjust when you have your B game or when you have your C game, or when the stars don't align for you on that day and everything's not perfect. So uh, adjusting means that you're gonna go with the flow and you're gonna perform with the skills that you have. Another way to say that, um, I worked with a dancer, for example, happened to be a line dancer, high level in the country, and we talked about, hey, your skills don't have to be perfect, you just have to go in and use what you have that day of the competition. And he loved that. He said, so I don't want to make it better. Or I don't want to make it perfect in competition. I just want to use what I have. And yes, that's the goal is to just use what you have that day in competition and not question. Remember, confidence is a long-term project. It's based upon years and years, months and months of practice and preparation. It's not just about that week of practice or the previous day of practice. Confidence is a long-term project based upon many years of practice and play. So don't forget that basic lesson there. And that's what you have to default to when you start questioning your preparation leading up to competition. Go out there and get it done with what you have. Thanks for watching. Jump over to peaksports.com and there you can download a free report or you can watch more videos, podcasts, and um, um, articles too. We have a ton of articles at our blog. Thanks. If you want to be notified when we upload more mental training videos just like this one, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click on my picture in the upper right-hand corner of this video. We've teed up two more mental training videos for you to check out today. Please visit our website if you want to learn more about mental training.